Jain, good evening everyone. I am myself, Tanakila. I am a part of this esteemed uh, organization called Indian Army uh, for the past three years. So before uh, starting this, I am just saying that uh, the PT which I am uh, showing is just for my reference and it it is it doesn't have the detail so it's more like a verbal session so uh, when i joined army i used to have the reference of many videos in the, available in the youtube or uh, of uh, advices from my senior for uh, what army is and everything and once i joined army there were few uh, main points which i wish i knew before joining army so i have included all those points and this will be mainly a very frank uh, session it will not be a very formal one so i have been part of this organization for the past three years so let me get into it uh, yeah so to join the army on file i have to mention what you're going to join so when you join into the army you as medical officer you will be a part of a very esteemed and very prestigious uh, organization called army medical corps it has a very rich history it's been a big role in many uh, indo china war uh, many major wars and it's also a part of many un missions in gaza nigeria and etc so to join indian army you need to you can join in three stages the first you being you uh, after completing the 12th standard and uh, giving the neat ug and going through the medical council and uh, giving an interview in the AFMC and joining into the AFMC Armed Force Medical College Pune and doing your UG there and then continue your service or you can join a center which I have lost I put a clause because it's a very rare situation it has done it has been only twice past 35 years that uh, uh, there has been uh, medical officers or intern who has been taken into the army recruited into the army as an intern so as an intern you will be doing a uh, you, you will have uh, four years of uh, MBBS academic uh, certificate and then you will go into the uh, army uh, hospitals and you will do the internship. Then uh, the most common way uh, the medical uh, to join as a medical officer through the interview. So the army will usually uh, recruit a medical short service uh, commission medical officers once a year or rarely twice a year. Uh, during the recruitment, usually in the November or December later parts of the year, uh, the Indian uh, organization will uh, put up a uh, notice in a common platform from public platform like uh, their own website or in the uh, newspaper like this uh, cutout where it will be mentioned that uh, armed forces medical services are recruiting uh, medical officers according to the vacancy they need so there will be a uh, uh, recruitment so first part of the uh, recruitment will be you applying for the uh, once you see this you will apply an online application which will be put up to their uh, them and they will be sending you a call letter uh, for the interview uh, the interview usually takes place in the uh, uh, rnr delhi and uh, during the interview there will be a major two phases first phase will be the main interview where they will be judging you according to your uh, medical uh, knowledge and uh, how you handle stress and the second part will be the medical fitness so in the uh, interview it will as I said, it will be happening in the RNR Delhi. So, interview there will be a panel of officers uh, with one presiding officer who are ma majorly like uh, specialists, medical specialists, surgical specialists, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists. They will be there and they will be bombarding you questions uh, of basic knowledge about the uh, medical situations, medical stuff like ECG, chest x ray, and uh, they might be giving you case scenario based questions where you will be up, uh, questions like uh, what will you do when uh, mind blast happens or like uh, gunshot wound injuries happens and how will you control marriage? what are your actions to it there will be the psychiatrists and psychologists who will be uh, assessing you how you are reacting to this case scenario based uh, questions and how you are uh, handling that uh, stressful environment and then they will uh, you need to at least get a percent of the mark in that and once this uh, fit, uh, interview is over your results will be informed and you will be asked to get your medical fitness to be done the next day so in the medical fitness they will check your uh, BMA obviously height weight and then they will also check uh, uh, check your chest expansion whether you are a physic is uh, uh, you are physically fit enough to handle situations in field and they will also check your uh, whether you are hemodynamically stable like uh, your blood uh, report your urine report usg your chest x-ray your uh, ear, uh, eyesight and hearing so after all these the organization will put up a list of candidates who are uh, both in the interview and their medical uh, nurse and they will uh, the result is usually after two to three weeks of the interview after the interview so i uh, forgot to mention this uh, before the interview, once you have called to the interview, that they will give you a form where they ask you to uh, enroll, uh, mention what what are your hobbies, what you like to uh, do in army, what you are expecting in army, what kind of uh, uh, specialization you want to do in army, what kind of service you want to get into, whether army or uh, 
navy or air force so according to that they will uh, your uh, according to that and according to your uh, mark in the interview they will put you according to it and they will send a call letter to you after the results to your home mostly uh, post or they will also mail you it and they will give you a one month of joining period in that posting order there will be uh, you will be uh, posted to a specific military hospital usually a hospital to of your own state where you will be having a three months of training so once you get uh, your um, call letter you will be reporting to the unit whichever you are posted in and you will be commissioned so commissioning is basically uh, uh, giving stars to your shoulder so once you commission you will be commissioned as short service commission and in short service commission the, you will be joining for a bond of five years to start with and you can continue till a bond of 14 years so it will be five plus five plus four you can leave in any way anywhere between after the bond completes like five plus five plus four and uh, in short service commission once you commission I will like to mention this also you will be commissioned as captain in case if you have joined after the uh, interview the process and everything but if you join as an intern in a military hospital then you will be commissioned as none you will be uh, doing a uh, internship for one year and then be turned to a uh, captain you will be promoted so uh, yeah once your short service commission is started uh, after two years service you can give something called PC interview that is permanent commissioning interview so uh, basically in PC, PC interview they will check what and all you have done for the two years what good I have done for the organization how well you have been active and now uh, what and all of, uh, rescue operations or any things you have done and there will be recommendations from your uh, seniors there will be credentials from your seniors who have uh, uh, who are uh, who have given you points according to your uh, uh, in, uh, medical skills and stuff so after the PC interview you may uh, turn into a permanent commission in short service commission uh, unfortunately right now there is no PG available in this uh, short service commission till last year there was an uh, opportunity of a PG even in short service commission regardless of your age and stuff but uh, last year there was an unfortunate uh, ruling uh, brought up and there is no PG for uh, right now for any short service commission so once uh, you finish your service there is no pension available also. coming to permanent commission you can one either be uh, give your PC interview in the second year of your service and turn into a permanent commission or you can be directly posted as permanent commission if you have done your um, UG in the AFMC and 50% of the people who have scored the IS mark will be given the chances to take a permanent commission but I, it's on you whether you want to take up and then uh, once you have joined permanent commission once you have become a permanent commission officer you will be up to do it for five, 55 years of your service and uh, leaving in between is controversial but you can do it there are uh, cases where they have left in between but uh, it depends on you so in once you join uh, once uh, you complete a four years of service you can give your PG in, uh, PG NEET exam and get a good off and get your PG uh, seat selected and there is again a clause in it since last year there has been a ruling that a PG will be only given to by the uh, officers who are in the service of four to seven years of service and yes pension is available for the permanent commission officers there's something called ACR which I want to mention that is called uh, annual uh, confidential report basically which I explained to you before in PC interviews the scene there is something called a uh, marking where uh, your seniors have given your commanding officer has given you according to your integrity how uh, medical skills how your uh, uh, loyalty and stuff so you will be graded according to 